Hey guys, in this video, I am going to talk about my budget here in the Philippines for May 2022. So stay tuned. <laughs> Um, I hope you're doing well out there. Um, first of all, let me apologize. I said I was going to get this video out um, uh, a couple of days ago, um, but it's been postponed. I'm on Filipino time, um, so sorry about that. Uh, what happened was I was I thought I was going to get a um, statement from the landlord. He said he would send it on January the 31st, and then after I got the statement with the water and electric and the exact amount I owed I was gonna make a video but um, today's June the 4th and I haven't got the statement yet but I do know how much I spent on rent electric water and um, food and all the other stuff so I decided to go ahead and make a video instead of waiting any longer um, anyway yeah that was why there was a delay and um, just to let you know I'll probably do one of these budget videos maybe every six months from here on out I did the first one in April, um, but that one was uh, because I was on Airbnb, so it didn't include all the expensives. Uh, this one in May includes everything that I actually have to pay for, and I don't see it changing much in the future unless I move to a different place or something. So I'll probably do these um, every six months or if I move somewhere different, a different place or something. Uh, anyway, let's get into why I uh, you came here to watch this and why I made it um, my budget for May. Let me uh, get myself out of the way because I have my um, Excel pulled up here with my budget for May and we're going to take a look at it together and I'm going to talk about it real quick. So let me get myself out of the way here. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I'm sure you can see it. I'm using my screen recorder. <laughs> anyway, uh, my condo rent um, here at One Manchester Place in Macton, Newtown is 23,000 pesos a month. Um, that is due on the 15th. Um, so this was um, actually, this should say June 15th. Um, sorry about that. This is uh, June the 15th, not May the 15th. Um, but it will be paid on be probably before June fifteenth, whenever I get this statement. It was twenty three thousand pesos. Nothing has changed there. Water, I expected expected it to be around two hundred pesos. Um, now, actually, the water bill goes from May tw uh, April twenty fifth until May the twenty fifth. So there's uh, like a week discrepancy in there. Um, so this might actually be less than what this is showing, but for all intents and purposes, from April 25th to May 25th was 160 pesos. Um, and so that's what I put. It was 160 pesos, which is a little bit uh, lower than what I thought it would be. Um, now the electric I had um, down for um, 2,000 pesos, and I believe that one is due on the 4th. Um, because there was an electric bill that came on the second. Um, anyway, I believe it's due on the fourth. Um, I'll let, so, but no matter what, when it was due, um, the amount for the electric bill for May was 4,562 pesos. That may be a little bit of discrepancy there too. Um, uh, I'm not sure the dates that it runs, so it may be less than that, but what I had was uh, 4562, so that's what I put, which is uh, pretty much double what I thought it would be um, coming here for electric and how much I would spend. Um, I think the reason for that is because, you know, I run, there's two air conditioners here, one in the bedroom, one in the living room. Um, I pretty much run them all the time. Um, I have a microwave, oven, um, refrigerator. Um, I also bought an oven for cooking that uses electricity. Um, the, the, the stove is electricity, um, computers and all that stuff is electricity. So, um, yeah, anyway, it was double what I thought it would be. I'm thinking about actually buying a fan so to try to cut down on this electric bill instead of running the um, air conditioners all the time. Um, 
Anyway, it is what it is. It was 4,562 pesos. Gas, I had is nothing, and we don't get a gas bill, so there was no gas bill. Um, don't use gas at all. Um, I, I wanted to say this. I think one of the reasons water is so low is because a lot of people don't use water, except for, like, taking a shower or washing dishes. Um, is it, a lot of other people in the, the States, I guess, or other places may use it uh, for drinking water from, from the faucet they have a purifier or something, but everybody here buys bottled water. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why the water bill is so low. All right, let's move on. So that takes care of the rent, water, electric, and gas, the utilities and the rent. Um, cell phone. I had down a 700 pesos. I actually uh, only spent 120 pesos on the cell phone. Now, I think the reason for that is because basically I don't use my phone. <laughs> uh, when I'm here in the condo, I use the Wi-Fi here and on my phone too. And basically the only time I need the cell phone is when I go out and I, um, I don't have a uh, service. And so if I need to pay something using Gcash or if I go somewhere um, and need to use the, the phone to call somebody, then I'll just, uh, it's called top up, which means just adding money onto the phone. And basically, I use this plan um, from Globe. It's called uh, Go50, I believe, for students. Um, and it only costs 50 pesos when you um, top up. So I only topped up a couple times, and I got one that was only 20 pesos. So, you know, I only spent 120 pesos on the, the cell phone for um, May. Let's move on to food. I had as uh, 10,000 pesos. I actually uh, totaled up all the bills. I looked on to my Gcash because it has activity on there. When you spend uh, money, you can go back and check, you know, what you spent it at. And I added it up, and my total for food was um, 11,864 pesos, which is about 2,000 more pesos than what I thought it would be. But um, I did go to SM um, Cebu, and I got... Uh, a lot of stuff that I couldn't get at Robinson's, like a chicken breast and um, ground beef. And so I spent a little bit more on food, um, but my refrigerator is full with vegetables and fruits and um, everything that I need. Um, so I expect that to probably actually go down in June. Hopefully the electric bill will go down in June too. Um, so that's what I spent on food. Oh. This wasn't in. So the internet and Wi-Fi, um, before I had it as $15.99. And actually, I should change this. Sorry, guys, I didn't update this. Uh, $15.99 for the internet. So the first month, I, uh, it was absolutely free because I was at Airbnb. It was included in the amount that I paid. And then um, the owner told me that the internet here is Sky Fiber. It's uh, 30 megabytes per second. For $15.99 and I thought I would get um, that one and then I had a mess where I was going to thought I could get globe fiber um, for 100 megabytes per second for a little bit more but I couldn't get it I ended up getting sky fiber um, and it's up to 120 megabytes per second download and I run the speed test it's been averaging like 107 110 111 uh, megabytes per second download, but that plan is 2,599 pesos per month um, plus tax. So I haven't got that yet. So that might be a little bit more than that. So it's about a thousand more pesos than what I planned on spending. Um, so I was under on water, but over on electric, uh, under on cell phone, over on food, over on internet. Transportation I had is 2,000 pesos. I only spent 400 pesos on transportation, and that was just to get a taxi when I went to um, Island Mall. I did a video about that when I did my second extension here. Um, I don't use uh, transportation a lot, walk or walk a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I only spent 400 pesos on a taxi. So um, that was 1,600 pesos less than what I thought it would be. Haircuts, and I also get my hair collared, uh, for you guys who don't know, um, and I don't care who knows, it doesn't really matter, but I could have been, just put haircut. Originally, I thought this was going to be like 100 pesos for a haircut, 
And then I started looking um, for collar two. And I started walking around here and I found a place that was 99 pesos and uh, it was 390. So 100, 390, so that's about five, 490. So about 500 pesos for a haircut and a collar, which is about 10 bucks. Um, and so that's what I put estimate. Uh, I actually ended up getting my haircut and collar at SM Cebu when I was there. And it cost a little bit more there. It was uh, 690 pesos. So I spent, you know, 190 more pesos there, about four more dollars than I would have if I would have went out here uh, outside of Macton Newtown and got it cut. So that was a little over. Uh, credit card and loan, I actually had is 8,875 pesos. Um, and I actually thought it was going to be more because um, I went to Palawan, but I guess part of that bill was uh, in April, because I went in April, and was only in Palawan a couple of days in May. Um, but the, when the bill came back, actually for May, it ended up being uh, 7,786 pesos um, for the credit card, and I expect that to go down even more um, next month, because I don't really plan on doing a lot of trips um, anytime soon. Um, but who knows? I mean, that may change. Anyway, it was less than what I thought. And um, now my kids, I said 5,000 pesos. Basically, it's 10,000 yen uh, that I send them every month. And it depends on the conversion rate. And so the conversion rate for May was 4,115 pesos, which is actually um, cheaper than what I thought uh, with the conversion rate. Um, now, what else? I gotta get myself out of the way so I can see here. All right, uh, I have added this miscellaneous category, which includes um, going out to eat because um, I do go out to eat sometimes. I went to this uh, new Yakiniku restaurant here in Mac the Newtown. I uh, forget the name of it, but um, there's a new one here and new stuff is coming up. Anyway, I sometimes go out and eat. I had burger and fries at SM Cebu. Um, I had down, you know, that includes movies. I don't even think the movie theater is open yet. Um, so I just watch movies here. But if I was to go to the movies or out to eat or something, it's going to fall under this miscellaneous part, uh, which I had is 5,000 pesos. And I actually spent 2,623 pesos um, going out to eat, basically. <laughs> um, all right, visa fees. Now, I had 2,000 pesos a month. Uh, and basically, that is what it is. Um, it's about a thousand pesos, but they have miscellaneous fees that they add on top of it. So I had put down two thousand pesos a month. Uh, now this time, I went and got my six month extension. And so obviously, um, six. So this is going to be for the next six months. I am good now until November the thirtieth, uh, twenty twenty two. And so I paid for a six month visa extension. So obviously 2000 times six is 12,000 pesos. The taxes and everything else, um, I actually got a couple of passport photos for about 800 pesos. Uh, anyway, the total um, was 13,344 pesos for my uh, six month visa extension which is, you know, seven times more than I had down. But you have to keep in mind for the next uh, six months, I'm not going to be paying that at all. So um, anyway, um, and I should probably tell you guys in dollars too. Basically, when you're thinking about like pesos to dollars, um, you, it's like half, uh, 0.5. So if you times pesos by two, that's how much dollar it is, dollars it is. So for like my rent, um, this month, was, you know, that's about 40, uh, so about $460. Uh, water, 160 times C is 320, so that's about $3.50. Uh, electric, 4,562. If you times that by two, that's about 9,100 pesos or something. That's actually about $180. So electric is quite expensive. Oh no, 4,000 times two is eight. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. That's about eight, about 80, about $90 for electric, sorry. I doubled that almost, sorry about that. Gas is nothing, so cell phone, 120, so that's about $2.50. Um, food, 11, eight, 
four six. So times that by two, that's about twenty. Um, yeah, so about two hundred and thirty dollars, I guess. Um, internet twenty five ninety nine. That's about fifty bucks. Um, fifty five bucks. Yeah, fifty fifty five bucks. Transportation four hundred pesos. That's about eight bucks. Uh, haircut and collar seven hundred. That's about fourteen dollars. Uh, credit card and loan. That's about a hundred and so that would be about fourteen fifteen thousand pesos. Uh, <laughs> fifteen thousand. So that's about a hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, kids is about about a hundred bucks. Uh, ninety bucks depends on the exchange rate. And miscellaneous, that's twenty six twenty three. So times that by two, that's about fifty three, uh, about fifty five dollars or so. And visa fees was one thirteen three four four times two. So you're talking twenty six six, right? So that's about two hundred and sixty five dollars or so. Anyway, total. This is a total spent. Um, I was planning on spending 60,874 pesos in May, um, which times two, that's about, you know, 1,200 some dollars, right? I ended up spending 71,245 pesos in May, which is about 1,400 some pesos, about 1,450 or something. So actually, I was over on this. Um, I don't know why that sum didn't come up correctly. I guess I got it taken. Uh, I guess it was taken out somehow. I can add it in here. If you guys don't know how to do this, it's sum. Uh, I can just put um, 29, so E29 minus L29. Uh, right, that should be the sum. Um, anyway, it was. Uh, I was over 10,371 pesos, which is about $200. Um, so I was over in April. I was over in May. Hopefully I won't be over in June and everything will be under control. But I think most of the reason for that was because of the visa extension fees being, you know, six, seven times more. Um, than what I had put down, but that will be minus. So I think a lot of this is going to come down uh, in the upcoming months. Anyway, let me make myself bigger. All right, there we go. Um, all right, guys, so that is my budget and expenses for the Philippines for May 2022. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about it, if you have any questions about the Philippines, like money, um, questions or anything else about the Philippines, um, go ahead and ask me. I'm here. I'll be happy to help you out with it. Um, just leave a comment down below. And I'll, if, I'll, if I can, I'll try to help you out with it. If I can't, then I, I can't. So <laughs> that's all to that. Uh, anyway, have a great week. I appreciate you all for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in another one um, really soon.